Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to show how you can use the Pack and Go tool inside of Autodesk Inventor to copy files to a new location for archiving, emailing, and so on. So let's take a look. Here, I have a jig assembly, and I want to duplicate all the files, including parts, presentations, and drawings, and send them to a new location. Maybe I want to archive this or possibly email it to somebody. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to my application icon, choose Save As, and there I can get to Pack and Go. Now, this is the Pack and Go dialog box, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the preferences that I like to use, and of course, yours may vary depending on what you prefer to do. I've already got a destination folder set up. I'll just go ahead and keep that. You could choose to keep the folder hierarchy or copy to a single path. Personally, I like to copy it to a single path. I just like to flatten out my folder structure when I do this. Other options would be to include only the model files, so any inventor file, the IPT, IAMs, so on, including linked files, will include any embedded Excel charts or text files that might be embedded in a part or another assembly, for example. I usually leave that checked just in case I have one, although most of the time I don't. You could also check the Skip Libraries option, and this would ignore any files that might be stored in a library location as designated in the project. I like to uncheck this box because I'm trying to gather everything into one place, so I want to get everything I can. Collect Work Groups. That's going to take any work group location as designated in the project and flatten that out into a single directory structure as well. I like to keep everything as flat as possible, so I do like to collect work groups. Skipping styles will ignore any of the files associated with your design data folder, and I usually like to leave those out in the interest of just keeping the pack and go as small as possible. And skipping templates would also leave out any template files that are associated to this particular project, and I also like to leave those out uh, just to keep everything as small as possible. Again, my choices. You can change the project file if you want to change the project file by choosing from the pull down or browsing. And then you can go ahead and search, and that's going to find all the files associated to it. You can see the number of total files changed, and so did the disk space required, so it has found several files. Now if I click the More button, I can see the different files that it's associated, and double check and make sure it's got everything I wanted. Now if you look carefully, you'll see that it didn't get any presentation or any drawing files. Trust me on that one, they're not in there. But that's what this second search button here is for. If I click on that, the Pack and Go utility is going to go ahead and scan the project and look for any presentation files or drawings that are also associated to this assembly. So if you want to get those files, this is a really critical step. And it's already found some of those associated files, and it's going to go ahead and keep looking until it finds them all. Now this takes a little bit of time because I've got a pretty big project, so I'm going to go ahead and accelerate things so we can go ahead and see the end result. So now the Pack and Go utility has found the presentations and the drawings associated to this assembly. I could uncheck boxes to leave out some of the drawings or presentation files if I choose, but I'm going to keep them all and just hit the Add button, and now they all go ahead and are added to my Pack and Go section. All that's left to do now is hit the Start button, and with the Start button clicked, Inventor is going to go ahead and send all those files out to that folder that I designated. Once that's all wrapped up, I can go ahead and open up that folder and see there's all the files that have gone ahead and been added to the new location. I also get a new project file that I can use if I want to, as well as a log file that gives me a summary of everything that's been done. So that's it. That's the Pack and Go utility. It can be a really, really helpful tool when you need to get everything consolidated in one spot and create a copy somewhere else. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch.